Okay. Hi, I'm Martha. I'm Don. I'm Renee. And, and we, we are the Letter Ladies. Our goal is to hike mountain letters throughout the western U.S. and maybe go to some cool hot springs. Today we are in Rosalia, Washington, and we are going to hike up to the R, which is just behind us. It wasn't very impressive from the road, so hopefully we can get a better shot of it when we get up there. And we would really like you guys to help us um, promote our our YouTube channel. So if you could like us, share it, hit the notification bell, subscribe, it would be great. Get the word out on Letters on the Hillside. Anyways, we hope you'll join us. Thanks. So we are here on the John Wayne Trail. Isn't that what this is called? The John Wayne Trail? Yep. Or the Palouse to the Cascade? Or the Palouse to the Cascade Trail, which is like a 300 mile long trail. It used to be a railroad and now it's a trail. And now it's on my list of things to do. And now Don wants to do this whole trail. But we're just going to be going up to the R. So, Renee, you're going to keep track of how long this takes and how long the trail is? Yep. That's okay. GPS synced and we're ready to go. Yeah, this is a beautiful view. This has just been a beautiful um, drive down here. I guess they call this area the Palouse. So... Lots of farming, eastern Washington, wheat fields, canola fields, fields and fi lentils. Lentils are huge here. <laughs> There's a lentil festival at some point. What kind of birds are those? I don't know. They grow way too fast. Just a beautiful, we're lucky. It's a beautiful day. It's not too hot. In July, we've been up since the crack of dawn, so we could get down here. <laughs> don't say that on T. Don't say that on video. Crack of dawn. Why? Oh! I didn't mean. I didn't mean. So Dawn says no to crack of dawn. Okay. No. No. <laughs> It'll, we'll edit Just that out. Although I think that's funny. Even. You know, don't must, don't know me. <laughs> if you don't have the name, oh, you don't know. <laughs> Can I do some puns on Instagram with not crack a dawn, but just dawn? The name dawn? I don't care. I didn't dawn on me. I don't know. Oh, that's I mean, hilarious. You can say crack a dawn if you want. Yeah. And see if anybody gets it. They might not even. I didn't at first. I, I would get it because my name's Dawn. Right. We all have a we all have a so, thing, right? Yeah. We, yeah. But oh my gosh. Okay. I, don't know, I don't know why I didn't, that didn't even dawn on me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the cute little town of Rosalia over there, over yonder. yonder. Beyond, yeah. Beyond <laughs> Just over there. Very cute little town. Cafe? Yeah, definitely recommend the Brick Cafe. That place was awesome. We've even pre-bought our, um, what did we get? Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls and coffee when we're done. There may not be hot springs nearby, but there's coffee nice. and there's sugary stuff, so but we're happy. We hear rumors there is a warm, warm spring. That we hear rumor that, yeah, that there's a warm spring 10 miles from here. Yeah. Across from the gun club, up on a hill. We're not sure if we're gonna hit up there, but. I'm almost tempted to go though. I know, we're I here. Been to Molden. Is that the town that burned down? Oh, Molden's the town that burned down? When did that burn down? Oh, wow. Two years ago when the fire went through? Okay. Wow. We're dagging until we got over to the Okay. Okay, so maybe after we do this, we'll head and see if we can find the warm springs. It's, two miles. it's just 10 miles down the road. <laughs> There's a warm spring <laughs> that, is his name Bill? Jim. 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 And his Bob. friend Bob told us about at the Red Brick Cafe in Rosalia, Washington. 
So it would be cool. I mean, that would be an undiscovered warm spring. It's not necessarily, it's a real local thing. So that'd be way cool. Not sure if you can see it, but the R is kind of right above Don's head. It's right there. Okay, so we're walking along. There's the trail. The R is up there. It's going to be interesting navigating whatever this ravine thing is below us. Because then we have to get up. You have to get up to the R somehow. And there's a fence. Now Jim and Bob said that yes, this is on private property, but not to worry that um, we should be okay. We won't get in trouble for going up. And they'll bail us out if we need them to. And that's why we took their picture. <laughs> or actually just Jim. Okay, so I think we're getting to a point where we're going to have to figure out how to get up there. Okay, we're probably right underneath the R. It's right, uh, right up there. So now we got to figure out... We just need to figure... These girls are totally into the wildflowers along here. They are beautiful. We found some bachelor buttons and... Uh, they're just really pretty. So they're really not the purple flowers, they're the blue flowers that are up on the hill. So, okay, I think we found our trailhead or our access. So we think we found a way, maybe. We're looking for something that's not straight up a hill. Which, let's face it, if it's up there, it's straight up the hill. So. You think this is the way up? A machete. <laughs> Renee, you forgot your machete? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's in the... Okay. <laughs> well, it's not too... F oh, it's in the truck. That is far away. Okay. All right, here we go. We're headed up the hill. Okay, so we're continuing our... Our hike up. Really, that was the hardest part. We just came up. This is, if we find this letter without scurrying around for hours on end, okay. <laughs> but it, it would be a first. We're trying to have situational awareness, keep track of where we are. If nothing else, it's beautiful up here. You think, where is it going to be? Right there, right up there. Okay. It... Okay, we're f and it was at the top of the field of blue. Okay, so straight up there. <laughs> we're, we're right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll give it a shot. Here we go. Oh my gosh! We have stumbled upon it. Can you guys see? Oh wow! We Holy! <laughs> oh! We oh, we that. could have totally missed that. Oh yeah. This is awesome, guys. Yeah, it's just little bricks. Oh, and it's such a sweet little letter. I mean, it's just adorable. So what did they make it out of here? Oh, they made it out of bricks. Wow. I think this is easier to get to than F in French Town. Yes, <laughs> this is easier than the F in French Town. Absolutely. Wow. What, what do you think, Renee? I love it. I want to weed whack it. So we've made it to the R. Renee, this is like your sister letter. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Renee.
Renee just suggested coming up here to the top of the R. This is such a sweet letter. So cute. Okay, Renee, what's our stats? Oh, it was just under half a mile at 0.46 miles, and it took us approximately 16 minutes to get here. And I was stopping taking pictures of the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and doing plant identification. Plant on identification. Them. <laughs> and I do have to say, what is a pirate's favorite letter? R. <laughs> We're too funny. <laughs> we think we're funny. We think we're funny. So <laughs> we are funny. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. <laughs> it's just nice to take a moment to appreciate everything that goes into a letter. So at some point in the 60s, kids brought these bricks up and they laid them down and they made their R. And it was a big deal for a long time. And then somewhere along the line, somebody stopped taking care of this letter. So these letters are all about community spirit and a lot of these little towns in Eastern Washington have been hit pretty hard. There are farming towns, they have shrank and they're just not quite what they used to be. So we're hopeful for the R and if you're ever in this neck of the woods, maybe you're gonna go on the, what's the name of that trail? The John Wayne. The John Wayne Trail. The Palouse to the Cascades. Palouse to the Cascades Trail. If you're ever in this neck of the woods going by, you know, take some appreciation of what these letters mean and what they are. Thanks for joining us. It's Malden here. Oh, we're in Malden. Okay, okay we're on our way to Malden and we're gonna take a look at this town real quick. It's just down the road from the Rosalia R. And then we're going to go to Pine, Pine, Washington, and we have a, what is it? Pinedale. Pinedale? Boy, I hope that's it. Pine. Pine? I don't know. Okay, you're wrong. We have a map. We can pull that out. But I'll put a little thing down there in the bottom that really tells you what, what the name of the town is. But um, we are going to see if we can find the hot springs. The hot springs that Jim was telling us about. Anyways, we're in Malden, Malden, and this town burned down two years ago. There was a wildfire, and 95% of the town burned, so we're going to take a look. So this is the town. You're right, the church survived. Wow. Here's Main Street. So was there really a town here? Wow. And it just all burned down. Huh. This is really sad. Okay, so we think we have found the gun club that is, it's after Mulder and Molden? Mulder. Molden. Molden. It's after Molden and right before Pine City. And it's a gun club. <laughs> Pine City Gun Club. Okay, well, there's people here. We can ask if we can park here. I'll be happy to go ask. You always ask. Do you know? Ask if they know if it still exists. Okay, I will ask if they still know it exists. I know, crazy women. Are these girls. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love you. <laughs> Gotta love you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna ask these guys. <laughs> I just heard about some. They're looking for hot springs. springs. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody told them there's hot springs up there. Okay, so what we've decided to do is, um, well, hang on before you go, Renee. Yeah, let I me take a look. look. Yeah, we're gonna take a look. I don't see anything. And so we just talked to Eric back there at the gun club, and. Um, he actually is from here and his geology is his hobby and he says it's it's scientifically almost impossible for a hot springs to be here so we're just going to put this on our back burner we know where it is now maybe someday when we have more time than anything we'll we'll hike up there and check it out so and get permission from the landowner and get permission from the landowner because <laughs> apparently it's on private land so at any rate that pretty much concludes our our trip to the Rosalia R we're going to go back to the Brick Cafe and get our 
cinnamon roll and coffee. coffee. <laughs> so we'll see you there. Thanks. This is Renee running back <laughs> from the R. I left my pole there, my walking stick. This is true friendship. Thank you, Renee. <laughs>